Last week, we gathered the materials and built the structure for our keyhole garden. This week, it's time to fill it and get it ready for planting. So now that we have our exterior wall built, what we're gonna do is use cardboard to lay down and help suppress that grass from growing, that Bermuda grass. A lot of times I would suggest people to use uh, cardboard to prevent Bermuda grass from coming up in new beds instead of using weed fabric. we have the bottom of the garden lined with cardboard, we're also going to line the sides behind the wall with cardboard as well. Um, some people use different items again to line this, but I, I like the cardboard because it will decompose. So we're using all organic material here, but also the cardboard helps hold that moisture in, which allows this garden to be a more uh, water conserving garden and you don't have to water it as often that way. So now that we have the cardboard fairly in place, as we add stuff to it, it'll help hold that cardboard in place even more. The next thing that we're gonna add is some sticks. Now, you don't wanna put too large of branches in here just because they won't decompose as well. So we're using about half inch to one and a half inch branches. And we're simply gonna layer these in here on top of the cardboard. You do want to mound the sticks a little bit higher towards the inside of the cage because the whole garden is going to slope away from the cage. It's important to water between each layer as you add it. This allows that material to soak up that water, creating that sponge effect, which is really beneficial for the plants. So as you can see, there's quite a variety of material that goes into a keyhole garden. We've used a lot of different dead plant material, and it's a great way to get a garden ready for the spring by taking all of that dead plant material out of your garden and utilizing it here. Now we've got a lot of carbon matter and so to get that to compost we want to add nitrogen. So we've got animal bedding here that is high in urea that we will add on top of that so that it helps to break that down. After layering nitrogen, we're going to put another layer of carbon down by adding these dried ornamental grasses. So the last layer we're going to add is about six inches of good garden soil. And this is what we're going to plant in a little later. This is what will anchor those roots in, and it's the organic matter that's underneath there that's going to provide the nutrients and the moisture to those roots. adding our six inches of soil onto the top of all of our organic matter in the keyhole garden and now it's time to fill up our compost bin and you're going to treat this like a regular compost pile the only thing is, is you'll never have to move this the nutrients as it breaks down goes into the raised bed around it and that's why we've burned our soil towards the compost pile again also to help with water flow away from the compost so we're going to first add some dry leaves into this. It's always important to layer your carbon uh, and also your nitrogen rich 
material, such as this grass clipping here. So now that we've added the dry leaves, we're gonna put some green grass clippings on top of that. And this will help that composting process. After the green glass clippings, we're also going to add some kitchen waste here. We have bananas, old tea bags, old coffee filters and such. And I like to put that kind of lower in the compost pile just in case you have any animals. The nice thing about this cage again is it will keep those animals from getting in there. After our green layer, we're going to go back in with what we call brown material. In this case, it's shredded paper, but basically it's our carbon. So again, this will create more of an interface between the nitrogen of the grass and this dried paper. So the last thing we're gonna add to our compost pile is some green material that we actually just took some cuttings out of the greenhouse. There's no diseases or insects on these and so they're really good to compost. So we're gonna add those back into the garden. After you've completed the build of your keyhole garden, you want to make sure everything is nice and watered in, including the compost pile. this we watered it in really well and we want to make sure that it does stay moist for a while so that we know that that cardboard and everything is nice and saturated um, and we will be planting this pretty soon but there's one more thing we want to do first and that's to cover up this uh, keyhole entrance right now it has grass growing underneath here and we're simply going to take some of this leftover cardboard and cover that grass to prevent it from growing up um, and the reason why we're wanting to do this is it's going to be a maintenance nightmare to have to get a weed eater in here or it's too small really to get a lawnmower in here to mow that grass plus this will help prevent that grass from getting into the raised bed also so after putting cardboard down we're simply going to cover this up with mulch and it'll create a nice mulch path into our compost pile. Now that we have this little cutout mulch, our keyhole garden is completed and we're really excited to get it planted. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.